TF2 is the best video game, and I won't have any other opinion saying otherwise. What's going on guys, Toasty Jakey back again bringing you another gameplay commentary. Don't click off the video, I promise you, I don't talk like that. <laughs> um, no, I'm bringing you another gameplay commentary. A lot of people have been asking for it. It's been a hot second since the last one, so here I am bringing it to you hot and fresh like a Little Caesars hot and ready pizza. It's not great, but God damn it, it's hot, it's cheap, and it's there for you when you need it. So that's what I'm bringing you today. And today's flavor of pizza is positivity. Reason being is because there's a lot of negativity in the community regarding the V-Script stuff. Uh, a lot of complaints. I, well, I shouldn't even really say complaints. They're valid opinions from people who love the game. But there's a lot of negativity going around. So I just kind of today want to talk about what makes Team Fortress 2 great. And why I personally believe there will never be another Team Fortress 2. And now I do want to preface. The only credibility I have to talk about this is my 12 years of experience playing the game. So it's going to be all opinionated not fact-based so that's kind of why i want you guys to, you know let me know in the comments what you think about my opinions am i right am i wrong am i stupid you know spoiler alert i probably am but you know just let me know what you think and speaking of you guys the first thing i want to touch on when it comes to team fortress 2 is its community no video game is going to last as long as team fortress 2 does without a dedicated responsive and awesome community and there's a subcategory in that community that I feel keeps the energy going the most, and that would be the artists. And now nice when I go, say nice artists, I mean everything from people that are traditional artists, people that are the bomb.com with source filmmaker, I'm talking about YouTube content creators, and I'm even talking about people that fill the community with memes, as it, you know, it does take a creative mind to make a funny meme. And if there's anyone who knows how to spread memes, it's, uh, it's this fucking community. There are so many talented artists out there keeping TF2 in the mainstream with their art, videos, and yes, even memes, that it's, it's kind of hard to ignore. Just to name a couple examples, you got Nemesis Blue, which is a two hour long drama piece that took five years to make in Source Filmmaker and explores the concepts of respawning and the dark side of that system within the TF2 universe. And then on the complete opposite end of the spectrum, genre wise, you have things like Pudis Engage, which is a comedy series that also took a couple years to make, and the whole premise is about two heavies looking for anime tits. Both of these videos were made out of a love for the game and a desire to put their own spin on the universe. And that's just two videos. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of Source Filmmaker videos, Gary's Mod videos, comics, art pieces, that all sprung up out of a desire to express a love for the game. And you can't find a community that's better than that. So I'd like to just give a shout out to all the artists out there. No matter how big or small you are, you are keeping this community alive. And with that art, with those videos, with those source filmmakers, you inspire people to get on the wacky hat video game that we all know and love, keeping it alive and well. You're gonna be hard pressed to find a community that's as driven as Team Fortress 2 fans 16 years after the game's initial release date, especially with little to no developer support. My second point has to do with the fact that TF2, when it was released in 2007, reinvented and redefined the class-based hero shooter, if you will. Something that's become almost standard in modern first-person shooters. And, you know, Jakey, what do you mean by this? What I mean is that TF2 was one of, if not the first game, to do the class-based hero-style shooter. So everything else afterwards, at least to me, is always going to get compared to TF2 and will never feel truly like an original game. And, I mean, just take a look at the Overwatch comparison that's been raging since 2016. People still can't get the fuck over it. Now, again, this kind of side note, in my personal opinion, I will be the first to say that when Overwatch came out in 2016, it was the closest thing any game has ever come to matching the energy of TF2. It was fun, fast-paced, it had character, lore, stories, and it matched the hero shooter vibe to a T that TF2 did define. But only the 2016 version because we all know it went to shit pretty quick. However, you know, this point is a personal take. Not everyone will always compare every class-based shooter to TF2. Even though it is pretty hard not to because and this is the crux of this point, TF2 perfected the class-based shooter. There will be nothing like TF2 ever again, because you can't outdo the foundation and king of the genre. 
My final point has to do with the energy of Team Fortress 2, and I kind of touched on it in the last point, mentioning Overwatch, but it does deserve its own point. Team Fortress 2 has an energy about it that can only be described as, I guess, wacky? I mean, think about it. The story and the lore of the game is completely off the wall and nonsense. The characters are actually literally insane. Its in-game items are fun to buy, sell, and look at from a collector's standpoint. And don't even get me started on the endless community servers where creativity runs wild. <laughs> like, for example, you can be a heavy with the rocket jumper and market gardener, like, in the background. You can join a server where everyone is playing WarioWare, or even join a server where the weapons are all powered up by 10 times their original stats. I mean, the list goes on. And the best part about the game being quote-unquote wacky, I guess, is that everyone pretty much knows it. It's a game that doesn't take itself too seriously and doesn't advertise it as such. Yes, there is a competitive side of TF2 that's extremely fun, but in everyday servers, you can have fun doing whatever crazy shit you and your friends come up with. And honestly, that's kind of what my channel is built around. Just having fun in a game that I love. And I've never seen another game be as fucking wacky and fun to play as TF2. I mean, every single time I load up the game, I can have myself cracking up at either my antics or the antics of some other asshole in the server. And this is the main reason why I don't think there'll be another game like TF2. TF2 does not take itself so seriously that it sucks the fun out of everything I do. Anyways, uh, that was my small book report on why I love TF2. So take it or leave it. Uh, like I said, this was an extremely opinionated video. So let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think there will ever be another game with the same energy as TF2? Is there already a game with the same energy as TF2? I don't know. You guys tell me. Oh, by the way, I have an official Toasty Jakey TF2 server now. There we could do some of that wacky shit I just mentioned. Uh, there's a channel in my Discord server with the IP address, or you can just find it in the server browser as the Toasty Jakey TF2 server. And I'll be doing community events there, like giveaways, streams, contests. It's going to be a lot of fun, so be sure to check out the server and join the Discord if you're interested in keeping up with that kind of shit. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my book report. Please give me a hundred. I need it real bad. I've almost got an F in YouTube and I could use the credit.